Yeah, we went from 70 degrees down to 30, like that. At this point, I'm kind of envious of everyone up north because it's consistently cold up there and you don't have highs of 70s one week and then highs of 30 to 40 the next. Today, I'm gonna bust out another one of the next products that you're gonna get if you purchase a Biostim pack and talk all about that. quick just want to clarify something in the past couple of videos I had been saying the products that you get in the biostim pack you can apply those once a month at three ounces per thousand the three ounces per thousand that's still true but when I say once a month what I meant to be saying was once a month during the growing season so I hope that didn't confuse anybody and that kind of clears the air on that so all right Let's talk about Air 8. Typically, what my program is consisted of is in the springtime, I put a half application of pre-emergent down with a post-emergent. I talked about that in the last video, I'll link that below in the eye icon at the top. But I put a half application of that down, I go and I rent an aerator from home to pot, I aerate the whole yard, and then I put down my second application of my pre and post emergent. And like I mentioned in the last video, I'm cutting out the mechanical aeration and I'm going at liquid aeration with the Air 8 product. And here's why. So the traditional thought process behind mechanical aeration is number one, you're punching holes into the soil so that the roots can get more oxygen. And number two, you're relieving surface tension of the soil. Numero three, you're creating an opening for nutrients and water to just flow deeper down into the soil. The fourth reason people do mechanical aeration is they wanna punch holes into the ground so that when they overseed, those seeds will get into those holes and they'll germinate. And my rebuttal and question to that is, what happens to the seeds that get in between those holes that you punched? Do those not germinate? And number five, it's the closest thing that people are gonna get to tillage when it comes to DIY lawn care. So a couple of things to keep in mind when it comes to mechanical aeration. I already mentioned about the overseeding, but the other thing I wanted you to keep in mind, if you spray out a pre-emergent and then you run your mechanical aerator over it, you're breaking that pre-emergent barrier that you put on your turf. And mechanical aeration doesn't really open up the soil enough to make that big of a difference, especially when it comes to relieving the surface tension of soil. It just, it really doesn't have that big of an impact. It only addresses a small portion of the soil surface, leaving about 80 to 90% of the soil untouched. So mechanical aeration just really isn't that effective when it comes to the turf. Enter our liquid aeration product, Air 8. Now, a couple of benefits from liquid aeration is one, it's gonna open up the soil for a deeper penetration of water, and that's gonna cause the roots to go down deeper as well, making more nutrients available for them. Another benefit from the liquid aeration versus the mechanical is this is gonna cover the entire yard, whereas the mechanical is only gonna get where the tines go down in and pull out those cores. And another downside to the mechanical aeration aeration that you don't have to do with the liquid aeration. You have to go through the yard, you gotta mark off sprinkler heads or termite bait stations or cables that you got lying underneath the ground. Because again, with that mechanical aeration, you have tines that are digging down into the, into the turf. So with the liquid aeration, you don't have to go through and mark off any of that stuff. You just throw it in your sprayer and spray her down. Two other benefits that you're gonna get from using aerate in the yard. Number one, you're gonna get a dose of potassium. Albeit very small, you're still gonna get some out when you put this product down. And number two, what this product is gonna help do is begin the chelation of iron that you have in the yard. So if your iron is just really high, that means that it's trapped, it's not gonna utilize. This product is gonna help with that. So now let's talk about the application rate of air rates. How much of it do you need to be putting down in your yard? If you're using it in conjunction with the other three products that you find in the Biostim pack, that's gonna be the Humic 12, the RGS, and the 002 microgreen, each one of those, including the air rate, you're gonna do three ounces per thousand square feet once a month during the growing season. Notice how I put the during the growing season in there this time? 
Now, if you're using Aerate as a standalone product in your fertilizer programs, you would do a minimum of six ounces per thousand and a maximum of nine ounces per thousand, and you would apply in spring and fall. Now, that being said, again, this product can be applied anytime during the growing season. So don't think that you're limited to just spring and fall if it's a standalone product in your fertilizer program. You put it down anytime. Just follow those rates and you should be good. So I'm gonna do the three ounces per thousand like I did with the Humic 12, which equaled out to be about 19 and a half ounces for my entire yard. So I'm gonna do 20 ounces for my 6,500 square feet yard that I'm tackling here. So on to the mixing and music monitor. <laughs> Some of you might be wondering why I use the mixing cup and not just dump it straight into the ortho hosen sprayer. Simple answer, I have a hard time seeing the markings that are on that hosen sprayer. Whereas the cup, it's got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, all the way up to 36 ounces clearly marked on the side of the cup. So it's just easier to pour it in this, pour that into the ortho and get to it. Yeah, I already know my hose management game is, is terrible. I'm working on it. And I know I'm gonna get this question. I set the ortho dial to two to do this application, so. There's that. And just like that, there is our aerate liquid aeration application. And another question I know I'm gonna get on this product is, can it be mixed with liquid fertilizer? And the answer is yes, it can. And you would go in this order. You would put in your water, your aerate, your water soluble or liquid fertilizer, and then the rest of your water, mix it all up and spray it out. And as far as what these products can be mixed with, you can also mix it with your pesticides, your herbicides, or your fungicides. Just make sure to follow the label rates and all that stuff and you should be good to go. But you wanna make sure that if you do mix it with those other products, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, or your liquid fertilizers, you wanna make sure to use it within 24 hours. You don't want that to sit overnight or it's just gonna, it's, it's not gonna be fun for you. So make sure to use it within 24 hours. All right, so there you go. That's how to use the next Aerate product in the Biostimulant Pack. So if you have any other questions, if I left something out, you know what you can do. You can leave those in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. Like, share, subscribe, all that good social media stuff. Keep on keeping on my lawn care brothers and sisters from other misters, and I will catch you next time.